Hello everyone, this is Darren again, and today we're going to bore you with a base coat. I'm just kidding, we're actually not going to... I'm actually not going to show everything. Got some sapphire blue here, and I'm just using it... well, not straight out of the bottle, but... diluted with some water, and... I'm not going to make too much of this, because it's just a base coat, so... may have gotten that just a little bit too thin, but we will have to deal with that, at least for now. I will probably go off camera and do all the base coat, because <coughs> there's really nothing to this. It's just big, flat areas. Now, I have been seen the advice before that on big flat areas like this, that it's best to do lots of thin coats. Sorry, thin, thin. What am I trying to say here? I don't know. <laughs> There's lots of thin layers and build up the color over time. You can see there's a lot of gray still in this. And I'm missing areas. I've actually got it fixed to the table so it doesn't move on me. And I can focus on the in the video and get that done. And I will probably touch her arms at some point. In the last video, I showed that I was painting the eye. I'm unhappy with what that did, but I've gone in and watched a couple other videos tried to read up, and it's really not a lot out there that says it really good. So I may do that again on another miniature. Not exactly sure how many videos I'm going to make, because I'm not painting nearly as much as I want to, because I'm sitting here, oh, I need to make a video with that. So I may do some of these articles for Cool Mini or not in uh, full HD video. Mothers, I may just paint for myself. I've been thinking about doing that anyway. But anyway, well, anyway, this is how I'm going to keep doing on the base coats, and I'll come back and start doing the highlights and shading on that. Probably put shading first, and then we'll do highlights. Okay, we're ready to shade again. I say again because I already did this once and then the video died on me. So I had to paint it all back over on base coat, which I showed in the first segment that died, but here it is. We just painted it all the way around. Nothing really special. We are going to use Imperial, Imperial Purple for the shading. That's not exactly what can use, but that's what I'm going to use again. And you know, who knows, it'll come out better the second time. The last time I used way too much anyway. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to get onto all these little nooks and crannies and just give it a light washing. I've got my paint thinned down to Kool-Aid consistency, which works really well because it's just grape Kool-Aid. Everybody loves grape Kool-Aid. And I'm getting it a little bit more around what I should be getting it. What I mean by that is I'm getting too much on here, but I will probably paint over it with some highlights next, and that'll help bring everything together. You may notice it's a little purplish already, and that's because I didn't bother getting it super covered with the base coat again. But that's the way things go. And I'm trying to go 
up to the darkest part. Uh, I can't remember if that's right or not, but that's what I'm doing. So the nice thing about this technique is you're using very, very thin layers. So if you mess it up a little bit, it shouldn't be that detrimental. We're going to get up into our dress area. Under the bodice, maybe? Yeah. And then we're going to get into all these little nooks and crannies. And that's the hard part. Cause I'm pulling it far away. Oh, and underneath the sleeves of her dress. And you can see it's already dried in some spots. So that'll be good. This is a fast technique at times. Get underneath the dress. That way it looks like it's in shadow. I keep hiding that. And then you know, a little bit of a tide mark right there. So I'm going to wipe off a little bit more paint than normal. We're just trying to give it a little bit of contrast. Last time I was saying I got way too much contrast on it, but that's probably a good thing. I always have a problem with the contrast. I should probably put a lot more contrast in than it looks like in hand. Pictures always seem to look a lot better with a lot of contrast. really sure if that translates to a good gaming model though. Of course if this was a gaming model we probably wouldn't be doing all of this. Well maybe you would. Learned this week that one of my favorite miniatures, Magma Tracks, you can search for it, the uh, guy actually games with it and it's a very highly rated figure and he spent a lot of time on it and he plays with it. Well, hey, bully for him and I think that's really cool. I don't know if that's true or not but that's what was posted on the forums this week and it's too good not to believe. Actually, I'm really liking this a lot better than <laughs> what I did in the uh, deceased video. So that's a good idea. You know, normally for shading like this it takes layer upon layer upon layer. I think it's because it's such a strong purple that this is getting faster. Of course then again I probably am not contrasting enough. Ha 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 ha. Some people I know do like to start from the darkest shade and then move up to the highlights. And that's something you can do. I'm not sure why I prefer this method. It seems to cause me all kinds of grief, but this is something I have just learned to do recently. So that may be part of it is I just haven't settled on a final technique yet. And I will get this lower part here highlighted. Highlighted? Highlit? Brighter. Once we get to that point if you notice I'm trying to, I don't know if I'm successful, by doing just smaller and smaller areas, kind of like how you do normal layering. And I guess that's really what this is, is just layering with thin layers. And I don't like the front, but I love the back. 
I might put just a little touch of shading right there trying to follow all the little folds of her dress Get that all done like I said right there I like that and right there I think I did well so we're gonna call that good for the shading and we'll do highlighting next is a good picture shot just kind of rotate it around for everyone So what we've got next for this is I've mixed up that paint right there, which is a mixture of the base coat, which is sapphire blue and pure white. I'm not really going to use all everything that I just showed you. I uh, accidentally put too many drops of blue in, and so I had to add it another drop of white just so it all mixes up correctly and so what we'll do here is we're just going to go over the highlights just like we did with the shade and that was too wet so Dip some more in the brush and normally I don't think I'd be using white on this either because it's going to give a little bit of chalkiness to it. But I'm going to try to use just the side of the brush to just, you know. I'd almost say it's dry brushing with a wet brush. It seems strange to say it that way, but yes, he's getting tide marks already. But maybe we can brush those out a little bit. Next, dry brushing you off almost want this damp or completely devoid of paint that's really what we're doing here things that occur to you while you're recording and again we just have to go over it multiple times and I'm gonna try to get that a little bit more brought out you know one video a long time ago I watched I think I've got it on DVD talked that uh, brush over it and it almost immediately dries and well I never was able to get it that way until I got down to yeah, just a super thin paint and then lo and behold it, it kind of worked a whole lot better than that or better than hands are still shaking Try to brush out some of this dark color just right there. It might be useful to read up. I know a lot of people try to get the light coming from one direction. I'm not doing that. I probably should. But at this point, I'm just doing it for fun. And I'm enjoying this. 
which of course is the real point. I mean, why do something if you don't enjoy it? Okay, I guess that's the definition of work. Do something you don't enjoy for money. My son called me a professional painter today. He he wanted to sit and watch a professional paint. I just had to laugh. I am nowhere near that skill level yet. Of course, yeah. I've seen some eBay auctions where I could really kind of question it and go, really? Professional? Mm, yeah, okay, you get paid for it, but there's a whole lot more. You know, and they get bids, too, which is surprising to me. And I sit there and, well, gee, should I try liquidating my collection a little bit? No, no, my precious, they must stay with me. My pile of miniatures must grow. Having a nice big display cabinet to have them all in is a plus. In case you're wondering, I get mine got mine from Ikea. They've got this big glass display cabinet. It's not exactly the right size for miniatures, so I'm going to have to get some extra stands or I want to get some clear plastic acrylic sheets. And get them in that way. Now this is really looking chalky. So what I think I'm going to do before we call the dress done is I'm going to go back over it with almost the same technique but with the base code. Because this is too dry. Whereas I guess alternatively I could have started with two drops of blue to one drop of white. I want to actually get right there and up on our hip on that side. I think that's needed. And so I think I'm going to call that good for now. And let me just take a quick look. I really want to get more up on our shoulders, but that's just proving difficult to do. <sighs> I should probably stop futzing with it. Fussing, <laughs> fussing with it. Yeah, yep. Stop, stop, stop. There, okay. So that's where we're at, and I'll give it a quick wash of the blue, and I'll put that on the next segment. Alright, let's finish up the shading and highlights. And we're just going to give it a quick little glaze. There's my paint that I've got mixed up. And we're again just using sapphire blue. Straight out of the bottle, mixed with water. Not mixing anything else into it. And we're just trying to reshade pretty much everything. And so this won't take a lot of time. And hopefully we'll blend everything in quite a bit better. And so we won't have to see all these nasty tide marks and other things and it'll just look better. I used this once before with an orange mini. I don't remember who did it, but suggested it and it did look better it 
This will hopefully get rid of any chalkiness we've put into the model. I'm not going to touch the bottom because I'm happy with that. You can see this front is almost dry on the bottom. I'm happy with the top mostly. And you know, I'm happy with the sleeves too here. So we'll just give it a quick second to dry and hit it with a second layer. No dead video this time, hopefully. Sorry for the lack of conversation, but it's late, I'm tired, I'm ready for this one to be done. It's one of my biggest problems on minis so eventually I just get tired of doing it and I just want to finish it and be done with it and so of course I start going fast and I mess things up I know people a cold mini or not and they will spend two three weeks you know, four or five hours a day painting the same mini I'm sure they do other minis too, but I would just get so burned out at that. I should just call myself a expert speed painter and just start going doing that only. But I can't. I want to do pretty minis. And so there. I think I am done with this. Now one thing I did want to show that I don't think I've shown before is how I clean my minis, or minis, no, the brush. I have some brush cleaner picked up from a local art store. I just take some wet brush and just rub it in there. And then I just kind of stroke the bristles back into a point. I like the fact that it hardens here. And this will get a lot of paint out too sometimes. But that's just a little quick thing I wanted to show. And we're done for the shading and highlights. Next episode will be on probably the ruffles of it. Getting all these little white frilly things in. I'm debating whether or not I really want to highlight each one. I've got the ribbons in her lotus to do. The hair. Do something for the base. Not exactly sure what. And then she does have a little jewel thing up here we'll try to do. And she's got this I don't know what you would call that. Belt amulet and we'll get all that done next